Have you ever wondered where the animals sleep at night? No, I haven't. Where do they? They sleep just over here. Come on, follow me. We have herd pin three that way, herd pin two, herd pin one, and then we have our zebra stalls that we pass. Uh, and each of these stalls has a corresponding yard, which I can show you. And then all of those yards pour out into our corridor, which is about a quarter mile long and goes all the way to exhibit. So our hoof stock every day in the morning goes all the way out through that corridor. And at night, every night, they come all the way in and we kind of arrange them into the barn as they come in through the yards. We do all kinds of other enrichment. You can see the traffic cone in that corner. This is a street sweeper brush for them to scratch on. They have that tire. Um, but we'll hang things from the ceiling for them to hit with their horns. We'll put scents around like perfume or spices to kind of give them something interesting to smell. Um, we'll hang Christmas lights sometimes so that it's just something to change up their environment so that they are a little bit more stimulated. Um, the hoof stock tends to be scared of a lot of things, so we're a lot more gentle with our enrichment choices for them. But things like primates or elephants obviously are a lot more intelligent. They can get a lot more complicated and uh, interactive enrichment. Uh, a lot of people think that keepers just come in and feed the animals and then play with them the rest of the day. Very common uh, You can see that there is a large workload that they have to do. Moving animals around and cleaning. Those are the two big things that take the most of our time. Um, and in between that, like we'll do enrichment like I was explaining, we train, so we teach the animals to participate in their own veterinary care. We use positive reinforcement based training and we can teach them to do things like get on a scale so we can weigh them. Some of our animals can go into special restraints so that we can draw blood or give injections uh, as needed. Um, all kinds of things like that, so we'll spend time doing that every day. This stall houses right now our four Eland. Um, that is the largest antelope that we have. Um, there were two male springbok in here with them as well, but uh, as of uh, this week, they are kind of, we're switching that up a little bit, but we have a lot of options for which animals can be housed together, but that's not the case for all of the animals. Some of them, if we put them together, we would have a lot of issues with aggression.